30,000 yellow employees nationwide kicked off their work week, being told they no longer have a job, and in some cases, a pension, like one worker in Ohio who went viral for his reaction to finding out he lost his pension after 30 years on the job. The Teamsters Union, which represents 22,000 yellow workers, says the company notified them on Sunday it was shutting down operations and filing for bankruptcy. They haven't told us they're out of business yet. They haven't told us if, uh, if, uh, what they're doing, uh, file bankruptcy or whatever. Teamster President Sean O'Brien saying in a statement, the news is unfortunate but not surprising, blaming yellow for its inability to stay afloat despite billions of dollars in worker concessions and hundreds of millions in bailout funding. You know, and that's what that's that's heartbreaking. Shame on the company. Yellow was the nation's third largest carrier of small freight, earning $5 billion in revenue a year, according to its website, with major customers like Walmart and Home Depot. But after a series of failed cost-cutting measures to stay afloat, Yellow saw customers leave in droves. Now the company is over $1 billion in debt from its loans, which come due next year. Mike Regan, the co-founder of Transact Technologies, which helps companies manage their supply chains, says problems arose decades ago when Yellow acquired rival companies and put them under one roof. Basically, people that, you know, competed against each other. So if you don't have your culture synchronized, uh, I don't care what your strategy is, it's not going to work because uh, you have disparate parties. Problems worsened when Yellow tried to eliminate financial redundancies by shuttering two dozen truck terminals, which Teamsters decried as unnecessary job cuts. But Yellow's latest setback came from the threat of a union strike over health care benefits after Yellow missed a welfare and pension fund payment. That basically was the death knell for Yellow because if you're a shipper, one of the things that you don't want to do is have freight trapped in a system when the carrier's not operating. Regan says many shippers relied solely on Yellow's vast terminal network to move its products, so the shutdown could mean shipping delays for consumers, as Yellow's terminals close and companies pay for multiple trucking companies to pick up the slack. It means for, for certain more operating costs, because now I have more carriers hitting my doors. Well, if I have more carriers hitting those doors, it creates a, a delay, and that delay, the carriers know that delay is occurring, and they'll increase their cost to compensate for that. The shutdown is also renewing scrutiny over Yellow's $700 million COVID rescue loan in 2020. Regan says most of that money went to round out pension plans and extend the life of their equipment. But last month, a congressional investigation found the Treasury and Defense Departments made, quote, missteps in giving Yellow the loan. Del? 30 years, no pension. Stephanie Sandoval for us in Nashville, Tennessee. Stephanie, thank you very much.